This may come as a shock to you, but Google Maps may be used to generate income. I recently discovered this while doing some research looking for more online income streams. In fact, I made over $1,000 in less than a week using the strategy I'm going to discuss in this video. I'll be teaching you how I made this strategy work. So if you're on the hunt for another way to make extra money, then you've definitely come to the right place. But before that, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel, Asher at Home, and turn notifications on to stay up to date with our new video uploads discussing numerous methods to make money online. At Asher at Home, we look for only the best and proven money-making methods to share with you guys, and we'd appreciate your sharing the love. If ever you have any questions, we'd be glad to help. Just leave your question in the comments section, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, now let's get started. After doing some preliminary research, I went on over to Google and typed in the search bar, Google my business. I discovered that this keyword is searched millions of times a month. In fact, I believe that this trend will keep on continuing and people will still be generally interested in this search term in the near future, given how frequently it has been searched over the last few months. I thought this was something really cool and interesting when I learned about it. And what this information tells me is that this is a good chance to take advantage of and that it is a feasible method. And now the only thing I need to worry about is finding a way to turn this into a money-making opportunity. The question I asked myself was, how can I monetize this and offer a service that makes use of Google Maps? I learned about this through Google Skillshop, which is a fantastic website that offers free lessons that walk you through using various Google services. To find out how I might make some listings for my clients, I typed Google My Business into the search box. I needed to figure out a way for the listings to stand out for other people to notice them right away. Then, I came across this short course which was less than an hour long that was perfect for beginners. I just poured in all my focus on this one course which provided me with the knowledge and abilities I needed to make this work. The next thing I did was visit maps.google.com also known as Google Maps to begin looking for potential clients, for instance. If you search for barbers in the United States, you'll discover a list of several companies on the left side. Then, you can do a bit of analysis to find out if these businesses are probably using Google My Business or not. For instance, if you look up any of these companies or businesses, you may see their address and Google reviews or ratings if they have any. You might also find their contact information and if they have a website for their company. Based on the information you may find, you can assess whether the people running the company you come across may benefit from the numerous things that Google My Business offers. What I did then was go through the list of barber shops that I could find. And in addition to that, I also looked up a few other companies, such as pet stores and cat groomers. I didn't want to restrict myself to only barber shops since I felt that there was a greater possibility for me to make money from the more companies I could cover. Having an optimized internet profile is something that many firms fail to take advantage of, and this is the market opportunity that we want to capture. I realized there was a possibility I might provide my own knowledge to these local firms and get compensated for it because of the quick course I discovered on Google Skillshop. For example, I would list a company's contact details and save them in a separate Google Sheet or Excel file. If I saw that their company didn't even have a complete business profile, hadn't claimed their business account, or maybe had only a few reviews on Googly, I would then contact each of these local businesses by email, phone, or through their social media. While I was undergoing the process of contacting all of these businesses, I realized that I wasn't prepared for everything. What they fail to recognize is that there is a higher rejection rate whenever you make cold calls. If you were a business owner, do you think that you would trust some random stranger who just found you on the internet, telling you how you can run your business better? I know I probably wouldn't, so what I realized in hindsight is that I could have prepared a low rejection rate email template that I could send these businesses to have better rapport with them. To help me with this, I used an AI tool called ChatGPT. On ChatGPT, you could simply type in the prompt, 
write a cold email that I could send companies that need to optimize their Google business profile for search. Within seconds, the AI chatbot will automatically write this entire email template for you. The only thing you need to do then is to just copy and paste this into your email draft and then make a few edits here and there to make the email more specific to the business that you are contacting. Using this strategy, I tried to contact as many businesses as I could, covering multiple different niches, and offer my services to as many people as I could. If in case you stumble across some businesses that do not have emails like I did, an alternative way that you can contact them is through the phone numbers that they list, and you could personally talk to the business owner. Similar to the email template, you'd have to be ready to sell your business pitch to them. To do this, you can also utilize the help of ChatGPT to help you with coming up with a business pitch. Just a little warning though, that even if you prepared all of these templates or business pitches, you still won't have a 100% success rate, as you will find a couple of businesses that show zero interest in your services. Now this isn't something that you need to worry about because this is relatively normal, and you just have to move on to the next person or business on your list. You don't want to take too much time trying to convince a single business owner to avail of your services, as you could have better luck with the next one. You also have to make sure that you have an online payment system that is set up so that you can easily receive payments from your clients. An example of such a website is PayPal, which you can sign up for free. Once your services start getting more traction and you start piling up your list of clients, you might start to get a bit overwhelmed with the work that you have to do. For this, you can utilize freelance platforms like Fiverr. You'll find a bunch of freelancers that can offer Google My Business services like yours at a lower price. What you can then do is hire these freelancers to help you with your work so that you can focus more of your time on obtaining more clients while you outsource the hard work to other people. That way you can have hundreds and hundreds of clients while earning tons of money from it without overwhelming yourself. There you have it. That ends today's video where we showed you how to earn money online using Google Maps. Now we have a ton of other videos for you on our channel, so you might want to have a look there if you're interested in finding more methods to make money online in your spare time. If you are concerned about your lack of experience, we have many more videos provided that are ideal for beginners. We have something for you even if you're just starting off. If you like what you've seen, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, Asher at Home, and turn notifications on if you want to see other online money making strategies just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.